So you're based down at Peacock Gym. Um, how many people have you have you have you got underneath you now? Or how many people are you training? Oh wow, I I don't know. I, as you said, I must be doing something right because, you know, Darren Hamilton has just joined me as well. Oh, really? You know, so um, and a host of I mean, the gym right now is electric, and I, you know, I always, you know, I put God first, and I believe if you put God first. You can't come second, and I, I, you know, it's just. Uh, I mean, I've got O'Hara Davis, uh, Anthony Yard, who is someone you you better look out for. You know, eleven fights, ten KOs as an amateur. Tell him mind out, tell him boy mind out Big sticks when we slide round, fuck feds we ain't tryna let them find out Lord I got my money on my mind now, they telling me that it's my time now Yeah. So all you up boys mind out when that convoy slides out Bet the youth's ID they can't Catch find out Catch me on the north side of Newham East Coast Cause we the last ones left, we were chosen Leather gloves in the wizard, I'll hold it And now bust like I've never been roasted Cause where I'm from fam is bracken Like why they clotting down youths, that's tragic Best believe I ain't ducking no action Crash it at them, watch the whip get abandoned The Gaza is a madness I stay woke and I'm only getting older Fuck a fake friend, I'd rather be a loner Hitting them in alleys and corners and side men turned informers They started singing like the notes on my chorus We used to know them, but now they can't know us But that's how it goes in the street life Hella fakes ain't bad in the real life Never conversate on rides, different days, same guy Same op, different night If it's wrong or if it's right, disciplinary on sight Don't slip when you slide, cause if you slide and slip We're known for firing at whips So boy you better mind out, lose your pride and shit do my research, find out where my man lives Now it is what it is, this ending can't be changed I see bootings on the back row, see bootings on the main We're not on with that right now And now Reeves wants to hold on He's going, he's going, he's going, it's all over He stopped him, the right hand and the legs did a funny dance The left hand power, and now it's celebrating Everyone's wanting to know, you and Sergei Kovalev, is it on, is it off, is it going to happen? In my opinion it's going to happen, we're very close, um, but nothing's been finalised yet. Um, as I said, we are close, hopefully we can get there, hopefully it happens, and um, seems to be world champion. Is it the top of your wish list, the fight that you really want? Well, everyone knows my goals, my dreams, my aspirations, was to become world champion, and it's a cliche saying, but the time is now. The problem with Yard is, and this has been why his matchmaking has been poor, they've never boxed anyone even top 15 in the world or with that ability, right? So how do you go from Travis Reese or whatever his name, Reeves, to Kovalev? Yard shouldn't be boxing Kovalev. But unfortunately, they've avoided the domestic route and gone this WBO European. They've kept defending it and now they find themselves mandatory for Kovalev. So what do you do? If he don't take the fight, he's going to look terrible and everyone's going to say, what are you doing? What has been the point? Because he says, oh, we're not worried about the British domestic Jose Burton. Who cares about that? We're going down the WBO route, right? Well, you've done it and now you're there. So take the fight. Anthony Yard against Sergei Kovalev. What do you think of that one? Uh, I, I like what I saw in Kovalev's last fight. Um, but that, that Kovalev fight is going to be harder than what they realize. You know, at the highest level, it don't matter how good you do mid-work, it don't matter how big your muscles are, you're going to have to show that you can fight. You're going to have to show that you can take it, show that you can dish it out, show you got the conditioning, show you got the IQ. Your team, your coaches, they got to show that they can perform under pressure too because they're going to be under pressure. And it's going to be in Russia from what I heard. Is it, did I hear that right? Yes, that's correct. It's going to be a lot of pressure, man. So I see Kovalev winning and maybe stopping. Big light heavyweight fight coming off. Sergei Kovalev defending against... Uh, 
Boy, he's defending his WBO title against Anthony Yard. Yep. How do you see that fight? It's a very, very good fight for Yard. You know, he, he deserves it. You know, he's, I think he's 18 and 0. So he's, his time's come. Um, and I hope to God he can pull it off because, you know, he's from here. And we've all got to support our own, haven't we? So, um, but as far as the actual fight's concerned, it is a huge task. But listen, big props to him if he can pull it off. Um, but my money, my money would be on uh, Kovalev. But the fight itself, Jose, <clears throat> what do you think of Anthony's chances of... Uh, Slim and none. Okay, you don't really give him much of a chance. No, then. he's got no chance. Listen, he's got no chance against me, never mind Kovalev. So, Kovalev alert him. Anthony Yard, Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev by stoppage. Why do you hate Brit so much? It's not I hate him. He ain't done anything. He's he's what? He ain't got no big amateur career. He ain't got um, but like 15 fights over there in the UK that he's fought absolutely no one to get to um, the top position. So I I'd say Kovalev by knockout, vicious knockout. Skill set alone, Anthony Yard's a better fighter than Kovalev. I believe. From what I see, if he can take what he does, what he's been doing, into that fight. It's just the physic physical side of things that I see the only upset coming. I don't see him get majorly outboxed if, like I say, he can take what he's been doing into that fight. Um, so it's an interesting fight, but I'm backing him to do it. I think he will do it. I think that he's shown that he's got a pair of bollocks to go over there straight away. So that says to me that I don't think he's going to get there and flap unless he's just going for the money, but I don't think he would do that. Um, so I'm backing him to do it, I think he'll do it, yeah. Hey, my charging, my charging, my charging, I know you the plug. Hey, in the ends where they don't even scuffle, they bring out snark. For my drop with a bullet, go put a bit of the bar. Many losing their life, man, we gotta go pray to the Lord. Lord. Hey, my charge, my charge, my charge, I know you the plug. Hey, in the ends where they don't even scuff, or they bring out snow. Hey, for my drop with a bullet, go put a bit of the bar. Many losing their life, man, we gotta go pray to the Lord. 18 in the life, he leading, seen enough fiends, ain't seen enough jeans. Bit a man that way, they speak, I leave with a duck in the dive of police. No pops in the yard, how you mean this is evil, man, don't know how to leave that, no. Just bust that nut, then you leave, same way that the dad did, ma, this is deep yeah. It's chain music for the gang, for the squad, we got taught to bop out here Be a mob, man, don't wanna be a victim Nerd and school, Peter Pan down quick <laughs> Never knew the hustle, but we heard through Nick, see them boy have flames So we ran real swiftly, I remember the time they tried to rob, man Man nearly pissed my pan on the bus, fam Next day, bopped outside with a snapback Story of life, better drug, better snapback Hit your up, this is London or Baghdad uh. If you've been lost, better draw for that sat nav uh. Man made P, but they don't wanna snap Huh? Got me freaky, I suppose, in a fat back. Now they wanna know, like my name be Santa and like Jesus, he just put man on the Atlas. 079, no, you don't know me, man, I thought they were fan, but I ain't rolling. I come from the line, now I'm so focused. Many men wanna talk, but I'm better sober. Pray to the most high for a good omen. When I know that the prayers is getting doper. Life. I hope that the game's gonna take notice. My Cut friend, I'm a church, you were taking over. Life is leading the way for love, King. When you go out to Russia and unseat Sergei Kovalev, where would that rank in terms of the achievements in your life? Well, it's funny, I was just talking to Jeff upstairs and uh, other reporters. To me, it's, it's going down as the, as the best ever achievement from a boxer uh, in Britain. What would be the most satisfying thing about beating Kovalev in Russia? Um, again, the challenge, the, as you're saying, it's, um, to some people it seems like an impossible task. And, um, just like when I started boxing and so many people said that it's impossible for me to get to the stage I'm at now, it's just a, um, another challenge. There's some people that literally go through the rankings very slowly. There's some people that get offered opportunities and just don't ever take it. I've got an opportunity here and I feel like I've got the ability, I've got the capabilities to do it, so why not? Do you envisage having to show things that you've not shown us before? Have to, I don't know. I could go in there literally, pop, pop, and knock him out first one. You don't know. Um, again, you deal with it on the night. You don't start thinking about bad things or think about the, um, 
how hard it's going to be or what ifs or whatever. You don't, sometimes you don't even think about what you're going to go in there and it's, you don't think about how easy it's going to be. Because again, you might become complacent. You work hard in the gym, you do your job, and on the night, you demonstrate, you perform. Um, that's what boxing's about. People try to muddle it up and confuse it. You go in there, you're going to have a fight. Ten thirty at night. You've landed in Jebelinsk, and your bags haven't landed. Not bothered, are you, Andy? Not really. It's part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but from a practical point of view, have you got enough amenities to get through the night? Technically, no. But you have to make do with what you got in it. So um, I'm here. Probably just gonna go and rest, sip some water, chill out, connect to some Wi-Fi if there's Wi-Fi. And um, just relax, wait until tomorrow, till my bus come. Tundin, you knew it was going to be 10, 12, 15 hours of travelling, so just normal, apart from the fact that you've got no bags. Yeah, to me, <laughs> it's good. I feel like I'm in Peckham. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, nothing can phase us. It's just not possible. And um, it was a lovely flat. The bags not being here is, it raised the eyebrow, but I was like, listen, it's night time, we're going to go to bed wake up in the morning and Lions in the camp. Lions in the camp, you're here. It's a fight that's been talked about for a long time. And I've asked you this, one thing I'll ask you this in the Peacock, but you're here now. It's really going to happen now. Feel different? Anything slightly different in you? Me or you? Do you have a message for Anthony Yard? Uh, just uh, be ready and uh, welcome to my hometown and be ready for the fight, great fight, you know. We should to, uh, show to boxing fans worldwide and to my uh, fans here in my hometown the very good boxing. And just... Uh, I will show who is the boss here, you know. He will pay for everything, what he posted, what, what, what he said, you know. Just, uh, he's just a kid, he's a, not lion, he's a little kitten. When a lion senses fear, <laughs> it's good night. Did you sense fear? Absolutely. When you're in the presence of Sergei Kovalev, and more so, you sense more fear. so. If you look, everyone knows when it's a face-off. It's my face off as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right in there. You get your face in the face. I get my face cut. I'm looking. I'm, I keep telling people, it's me and Anthony in there, yeah, yeah. regardless of what it looks. As one. As one. And um, he broke his concentration three times. He looked at me. That's fear. You what, know? during the so-called face off? 100%. He was looking at you? When I walked up, he looked at me twice. No, two or three times, twice. And uh, I said to myself, uh-oh. <laughs> You ain't focused. You're looking at the wrong thing. You know, the person that you got to deal with is Anthony Yard. And those things, to me, 
told me a lot. But he's seen when they get clap, clap, or fuck you with my stack, stack. Politics from the Mac will go in your front and come out your back, back. Couldn't be white or black. You're then in the house or a council, flat, flat. Anyways, fuck all the chat, just know, say someone's gonna get clap. Someone's gonna get clap, clap, or fuck you with my stack, stack. Politics from the Mac will go in your front and come out your back, back. Couldn't be white or black. You're then in the house or a council, flat, flat. Anyways, fuck all the chat, just know, say someone's gonna get clap. Early morning squeezing, bodies drop, believe it. Catch a prick in his ride and beat it. Catch him sick in his time, I reap him. Catch a prick on the sly and feed him. Full click in the nine, I feed him. Leave him slapped to the scene and flee it. No dark in the mash, I keep it. I'm a dirty sat when I'm ranking satin. No ranking satin, I'm a dead dash. 30 satin, I'm bursting satin. I will surely push your head back. DJ Bang beating niggas, fleeing. No one want the dramas. I grip my stick so when I slip, I'm bound to catch some charges. I snatch a chain with a pendant on it. When the revolt is on my waist, it stretches my shirt like a pregnant son I keep one in the head cause I know if beef kicks off I'm dependent on it And I know if I back this someone Any enemies that will send them Running up from the roadside like them then cousin Niggas know, C-H-I Come on man, niggas know, niggas know Wake up, bake up, powder powder no makeup Powder powder max factor, cause you got guns in your shop Wait blood, wait cuz, man's got cookie the bake shop Got the antidote, the drugs though Hold on, hold up, them man talking at gal too When your gal got you like Django, you're a bitch boy, pussy Them man should be on catwalk, me out, me out I only answer the cat call, but me now, me now I only answer the cash call, but woof woof, woof woof I respond to my dog call, but hold on, hold on Please don't give me that chrome tool, gloves on, fuck off Man come give him that coat tool, man come give him that chrome tool Get that, work out, that's J. Cole Nigga, I'm M, the sky fool if I send James through One sec, wait there, boom, bye bye man, bojo I'ma teach kids about adults We're underway, 12 rounds. And I think for, for stepping up to this level, I think just to customise yourself to it. Nice little left hook there from Yaz. Again, just faking the jab there, just faking the pump in the jab. And That's a good straight left hand from Yard as well. Kovalev coming back with a jab of his own. That's good from Kovalev. Right hand, left hand, good speed of hand and accuracy. And to the right hand there. 100 plus fights. Oh, good shot from the champion. Terrific left hand, but Yard takes it well. Really took it well there, Yard. That's a shot that you've seen people rock back on their heels many times. Didn't budge to his credit. But he's being outboxed, John, and that's a, that's a, a worry. Now it's getting a bit of a pattern in, the, in, in these rounds here. Oh, oh good shot. Lovely left hand from Kovalev. Really good work. But how well was it taken again there from Yard? Anthony Yard. Good from Kovalev again. Yard had to absorb a solid right hand to get into range to land the body shot of his own. Good shot there from Yard. Kovalev did feel a little bit of the British challenger's power. Left is having to show fitness. Good right hand again from the champion. Question marks about Yard's chin. How would he take the power? How would he take the big shots? Well, so far, so good. This is good. Oh, good shot there from Yard. Nice left hook there from Anthony Yard. And again. And he's trying to walk Kovalev down, taking punishment as he does so. Nice there from Kovalev. Didn't quite fully connect with the right hand. Got changing tact. But still not doing enough work. Kovalev trying to unload there and took a heavy shot back. Lovely right hand there from Yad and then looking for the body as well there with that ripping left hook. Oh, there's a left which was right on the border. He's targeting the body now. Trying to soften Kovalev up. Good left hand again from Yard. This is his best round of the fight today. Oh, good right hand from Yard. Got him rocked. 
He's in trouble here, Kovalev, is he? Big right hand. This is the opportunity. Left hook from Jan at the right. He's got the champion going. Oh, tremendous attack. Big headshots from Jan. And Kovalev's on rocky territory. Wants to hold on at five seconds. And Jan won't let him off the hook now, surely. He is going for broke. He's lost every round to here. But now Jan is trying to knock him out. Looking for the big payoff shot. And he's almost swung himself out of the ring. Huge round here for Jan. Ten seconds to go. And Kovalev now will surely ride out the storm. But what a round for Jan. He's absolutely spent here, Kovalev. What a round for that. Confirmation of victory for Kovalev. It's the homecoming that they hoped for. It's a Chelyabinsk night of celebration for the Russian fans. But Anthony Yard, for me, can certainly take something from this. It's the bravest and gutsiest performance I've ever seen by a British boxer in a world title fight. Um, you, we thought it was all over in the eighth. You must have thought the same. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I was just in a fight. Um, I'm not going to keep going on about my experience, but experience played a big part. I felt like he paced himself a lot better. Um, I knew I hurt him to the body. And again, I thought I should have went for it. My corner said, go for it. I felt the same way, so... <laughs> We, we literally, I went for it. Um, you can tell he's very experienced. He's had a lot of world title fights. But again, I'm one of the people. I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed. I'm very ambitious, but I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed. I'm trying to motivate people to go for what you want. Even still, even though, again, I'm, I'm very upset. I wasn't victorious today, but again, I've, I've done myself justice. I'm just going to bring Sergei in. Warrior, fight. You're a great fighter. Really, really. Uh, Hard, you know, like, yeah, you have a great future, believe me. Oh, were you impressed by how strong impressed. and brave he was? Yeah, he's, he's a strong, you know, he's like, uh, he has an IQ, you know, like something like good defense, you know, and tactic, you know, just uh, believe me, uh, he has not enough uh, experience. And uh, I, I want my experience and uh, because I'm, I'm uh, Sergei Kovalev, Russia, you know, I can't lose any anymore. Enough. Right now, I got the right training camps, right life, right everything what I do every day right now. And he will be a champion. 100%.